Hey everybody, my name is Vijay and welcome to SandTube 3D. Today I'm going to make a very quick video on how to keep your Bowden tube from popping off your filament feeder assembly. Why am I making this video? Well, because I came in today after three hours of printing and I realized that my Bowden tube was actually popped off and the print was still going on and the filament was still being fed. So I had a whole bunch of filament up here and my tube was just sitting like this. Now this mainly tends to happen when you have a plastic uh, assembly that you see that here. Now this is the CR10, the stock one, uh, the one I bought a long time ago actually came with the plastic one. So why does this happen? Well, a couple of things. One. Um, I've actually had to remove this a couple of times due to some issues and because of that I guess when I put it back in I cross threaded it or something happened because this parts actually bronze or metal if you want to call it and when you put it into plastic if you don't go right into the groove and you cross thread it which means you don't put it in the groove that's built in and you make your own grooves eventually it's going to keep popping off so what I did is I went ahead and ordered a new one, which is a full metal assembly, but I'm not going to sit here and wait two, three days or even a week just to get it in so I can't do any prints on this machine because this is one of my favorite machines. So here's a temporary fix just until you get uh, a solution where you can um, either upgrade it or fix it or get a new one or even 3D print it for the CR10, which you can do. So the solution is super glue. You can use any kind you want. I like the Gorilla one. Uh, that one actually works very well for me. So all you got to do is once you have this taken out, you take your glue and just slowly pour it right around here. Don't do too much, but just enough. Okay. And one, all you want to do next is just go ahead and put it right back into your groove. I know this is cross threaded or it's not going to be perfectly well or fit well so just try to get it in there as tight as you can all the way through use a allen key not an allen key but a wrench if you have to the one that came with the printer so once you get it in there just lift your bone tube a little bit hold it for about 30 40 seconds and what you're doing here is the pattern that you've already stripped the super glue is actually going to come into place and replace it so all the gaps is going to fill it in and because it's glue, it's going to stick onto it very well. I've done this on other printers, so it works great. And once you do that, you just let it go. And as you can see, it's actually pretty tight. And now I can actually do prints on it. All right, so there you go, guys. This is just a temporary fix. Keep in mind until you can either 3D print one. And if you do print one, I highly recommend that you use about 100 infill on that. Only reason is because the more material that's in there, the stronger it's going to be. Also, this is, again, just a temporary fix until you can get either an all-metal one. Uh, I think they run for around 10 to 16 bucks. I don't remember exactly what I paid, but I did place an order for one, and I should get it in about three days. Uh, with that said, I can still print uh, on this machine temporarily. So there you go, guys. I hope you guys found this helpful. Just a quick tip video. If I ran into this problem, I'm assuming someone out there did. So for the one watching with this problem, I hope this helps you out. And like always, guys, good luck and happy printing.